And uh, in this video, I thought I'd do something different this time. I want to start reviewing some out music albums. And I thought I'd start off with ACDC's new album, Power Up. So this was released last week on the 13th of November. And it's ACDC's latest studio album. So the personnel on the album is... We've got Brian Johnson back on lead vocals. And it's so good to see that Brian Johnson's back again after his problems with his ears that made him pull out of the Rock or Bus tour. We've got Angus Young on lead guitar. Stevie Young is stepped up to do rhythm guitar because of uh, Malcolm Young's sad passing away. Phil Rudd on drums. It's good to see Phil Rudd back in the band as well after his legal problems. And Cliff Williams on the bass. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll run through each track and give you my opinion of it. And this is my opinion as well. I'm not a music critic and I'm not a musician. This is just my personal opinion. I am I may be quite biased as well from being an ACDC fan. But I've listened to the album a few times now and this is just my honest opinion of it going forward. Okay, so the first song is called realize um solid start the album it's really classic acdc song brian johnson's vocals sound really good like he's snarling at the beginning it's just so good um guitar riff is really good really heavy um and the guitar solo is really good it's sort of reminiscent reminiscent to the um who made who song which it, it, it's just in a really good way to me so yeah a great start to the album I really like this song okay so the, the second one is Rejection so I love the intro to this uh, song with the two guitars mirroring each other playing I think that's really good um, Brian Johnson's lyrics sound really good on this as well um, so it reminds me of Roger Daltrey um, I could imagine this being a Who song that might sound strange, but the, like the way he sings some bits um, really reminded me of like Roger Daltrey for some reason. But that's in a really good way because I'm a really big fan of the Who as well. So that's not that's not saying it's bad at all. Um, yeah, and I think this is my personal favorite song of the entire album, to be honest. Number three, "Shot in the Dark." This was the first um, song to be uh, released from the album. Um, just to Awesome, typical ACDC rock song. Really good. Um, I really like Phil Rudd's drumming on this. It's so cool. Um, really like the chorus as well. Really anthemic. I can imagine when we'll have to go to gigs again if we get to see ACDC. I can imagine uh, everyone singing along to the chorus. That'll be really good. Okay, so number four we've got Through the Mists of Time. Um, this is a this is really good. It reminds me of um, tracks from the Race's Edge album um, with the guitars, where the guitars are played. A really good song though. I really like it. Number five, Kick You When You're Down. Um, it's a fantastic guitar riff on this. Uh, very bluesy. Um, I really like Johnson's lyrics on this as well. Um, get a few um, mamas thrown in as well like he's the way he sings live and the way just back in black he says mama a lot on that as well so really like this same um, song so number six we've got uh, Witch's, Witch's Spell another great riff uh, it's a classic ACDC song um, uh, Phil Wood's drumming is really good on this as well I um, listened to this I really like this drumming on that So number seven, um, Demon Fire. Um, I love Brian Johnson's lyrics on this. Is um, gravelly voice at the beginning. It's really good. Um, I'd say this is a proper driving song. Imagine like driving really fast to this song. But be careful if you do when you put your foot down in the 30s on listening to this. That's all I can say. Um, I mean, this song is sounds like so fresh like it, it could be on um 
back in black or for those about to rock you wouldn't even notice it just sounds so so good like the back to the prime I, i've really enjoyed this song so number eight we're up to wild reputation so this is another bluesy one um angus solo's um are really good in this one um Jonathan sounds really good with his voice as well, the way he talks at some points as well. Um, I think it's really good with his uh, voice as well. Um, it adds a lot more depth to the song, I really, really like this one as well. So up to number 9 which is No Man's Land. Um, another anthem song I'd say. Um, a lot like Rock and Roll Train from uh, the Black Ice album. Um, that's in a good way. Johnson sounds really good, and the backing vocals and the covers make it just a classic ACDC song, in my opinion. So number ten, we've got um, Systems Down. Um, this goes, I think this goes right back to the 1970s ACDC with Bon Scott, um, especially in the intro. Um, I really like the rhythm guitar in this one. Um, Especially in the chorus, really good. And then number 11, Money Shot, which is a classic ACDC. Reminds me of the For Those About To Rock album in a really good way. I just really like this song as well. So finally, one to the last track of the album, Code Red. Um, this is an awesome intro, the riff, um, Really good. It um, reminds me of the Back in Black album with um, the, the song Back in Black and also um, Shake a Leg. And then, um, yeah, um, Brian Johnson's lyrics on this are really cool, and Phil Wood's drumming is just outstanding on this one as well. And it's another ACDC anthem as well. Yes, yeah, so all in all, I think it's a brilliant album I mean I'm just so happy that it's been released because of with Brian Johnson thinking maybe he was gonna have to retire because of his hearing problems and the fact that he's back doing another album it's just so good and um obviously with 2020 being such a terrible year for this album to be released at the end of the year is one of the positives coming out of that um the album itself is solid like a friend of mine Tell me um, about the album. It's just classic ACDC. If it's not broke, don't fix it. And I agree with him on that. It's just just what we need some classic ACDC. Um, I noticed on the album as well, it doesn't have a, um, a title track on this one. I mean, they haven't done this since Blow Up Your Video, where um, like the album's called Power Up, and there's no song called Power Up on it as well. ACDC always seem to have a song named after the album and I think it's the first time since Blow Up Your Video this has not happened yeah um, so I can't think of anything to say negative about the album to be honest it's just it's just what we need as an ACDC fan I'm really happy with it they don't need to experiment or do anything new because that's what we want. We want some classic ACDC, and th that's what we got. It's just so good to see Brian Johnson back, and it w it's a nice tribute to Malcolm Young as well. Obviously, uh, Stevie Young's filled in on the guitar, which is Malcolm and Angus's uh, nephew, and he's done a really good job. And the whole album uh, is dedicated to Malcolm Young, and I think they've done him really proud with it. I think a lot of the songs were demos that Malcolm Young had, had written because in the album it states that all songs were written by Angus and Malcolm but it's a fantastic tribute to his uh, memory and I think he, he has, they have done him proud with this. So yeah, that's my thoughts on the album. I'm, like I say, I'm, I'm no critic or anything, I'm not going to rate it. I just really enjoyed it being an ACDC fan. So that's about it for this video, I um, hope you enjoyed it anyway and got something out of it. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. Let me know in the comments what you thought of the album, any other albums you'd like me to 
have a look at let me know I have got a few other albums that I'm going to look at reviewing so let me know in the comments and if you like what you saw please subscribe I've got some lots of videos coming this way for you okay so that's it for me for now hope to see you in another video bye bye